Hi, this is Mark Kemper with EMS, and in this video, we're going to check out the new HandyScan Black Plus Elite 3D Scanner from Creaform. Okay, to get started, let's talk about what we'd like to do in this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the new features of the new HandyScan Black Plus Elite 3D Scanner. We're also going to talk about some new accessories that are available for this scanner. We'll also break down the new model lineup so you understand what the different HandyScan Black Series 3D scanners are and the specs for each one of those. And then we'll get in and demonstrate some of those new features. We'll do some scanning and we'll also show some of those new accessories. And if you have any questions on any of this, uh, below is our phone number and our email address. So if you'd like to reach out to us with any questions, give us a call, shoot us an email. If you'd like to set up a demonstration, either in person or a virtual demo, we're happy to do that. Or maybe you just want to discuss a 3D scanning or inspection project, we're happy to do that. Just reach out to us at the number below or our email address. But next we'll get set up and show some of the new features of the new HandyScan Black Plus Elite. All right, so let's do a quick model rundown so you understand the new HandyScan Black series. So first up, the HandyScan Black Elite will not change at all. The only thing that's gonna be different is it's gonna have a great new price, but that scanner, as you traditionally know it, has not changed at all, so it will still be around in its same form with a great new price. Next up is the new HandyScan Black Plus Elite, and a couple key new things here. One is you look at the measurements. We go from 1.3 million points per second to 1.8, uh, moving from 22 laser lines to 30 laser lines. Uh, and then that's the same for the Black Plus Elite Limited, and of course, the key thing with the limited is that 12 micron accuracy. So the black and black plus elite have the same accuracy. The black plus elite limited has that 12 micron accuracy. Now, another thing that's different is in the volumetric accuracy with what's called the new Accu Plus kit. And this is available for the black plus elite and the black plus elite limited. What that does is holds better tolerance over distance. So if you look at the original Black Elite, your stacking tolerance was 40 microns per, per meter. And if you're using the new AccuPlus kit with the Black Plus Elite or Black Plus Elite Limited, that drops down to 15 microns per meter. Now that is an option. You don't have to buy it. If you don't buy it, it would be the standard 40 microns per meter, just like the old Black Elite. But if you do opt for the new Accu kit, you can get better uh, accuracy over distance. And then finally, the other big difference is the scanning volumes. You have a standard and a far volume in the new Black Plus Elite and Black Plus Elite Limited. So those are some of the key differences in the new black product lineup. Okay, so we're all set up now to do some 3D scanning. So let's talk about uh, our setup here. Now, first thing is, if you, uh, we're really gonna focus in on the new features of the new HandyScan Black Plus Elite 3D Scanner. If you, if you haven't seen the original uh, in-depth demo video we did of the original Black Elite, I'll put a, a link in the description below and that's like a 20, 25 minute video. That's gonna go into a ton of detail on everything about the scanner and how it works. And most of that follows through on this new one. We're just gonna focus in this video on the new features of this scanner. So you might wanna go back and check out that original video if you haven't seen it. So let's talk about our setup here. So I'm using the new uh, 360 targets. I've got a few of them on the part and I've got some around the part uh, on the table. And then I've got one of these new clip cards and I've just set it on my rotary table and you're going to see what that's going to do in a minute. So these new uh, 360 targets can be on the part or like I said, around the part. The next part we're going to do, they'll be all on the part and we'll show some uh, neat things that happen with that as well. Um, and I'll explain my setup here a little more in a minute why I have it this way. 
So I've got a few of the adhesive targets on the part, the standard sticky targets you're well aware of. What's nice about these targets is they've got a magnet on them, so if there's magnetic areas, you can uh, uh, you know, just stick it to it. If not, we use a little double sticky tape sometimes to stick these to things. But what's nice about these new 360 targets is you can see them from all different angles. So it makes targeting easier. You can, you can get around things quicker and so on. So let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-scan the targets. And when you're using these 360 targets, it's kind of nice to do that. We do that many times when we're doing a bigger part anyways, but let's go ahead and get started. So I've told it to start, we're just going to scan the targets. So all it's going to do is the targets. Now you'll also notice it picked up that clipping card and created a clipping plane. What is a clipping plane, if you're not familiar with it, is it basically clips off any data underneath that plane. Because I don't want all the, the scan data, the, the table that the scanner is going to pick up. And in the past, we had to scan first and then delete it. Well, now you just throw one of these clipping cards on the table and it'll automatically say, hey, that's the table or that's a plane and I don't want anything underneath it. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just moving around and I'm trying to pre-scan all these targets at different angles, okay? That helps with my volumetric accuracy by acquiring these targets from different positions, okay? And this, you know, doesn't take long. You don't necessarily have to do this, but as your parts get larger, this starts to become more important to really keep that good volumetric accuracy as tight as possible, okay? Now, what's neat with this now, when I long hold the button and stop, I kind of get a report back or some feedback and I can see my targets. So you can see a lot of them are green, some of them have red, um, and green basically means good, meaning I've got plenty of positions on that target. Some of them are gonna be red just because I can't get behind them. It's not the end of the world to have some red ones, but you definitely wanna have as many green as possible. You could go back and continue to scan. It will continue to try to pick them up as you're, you're uh, you know, scanning normally, but that's up to you. But you do at least get some feedback now on your, basically your target quality. So let's assume I'm ready to actually do my 3D scanning. I'm gonna switch from scanning targets to scan surface, and we're gonna tell it to get started. And two things you'll probably notice right away. One is I'm not tuning the laser. You've seen in our other videos where I might have to adjust the laser power and sensor speed for the surface type. I'm gonna let that new auto shutter figure that out for me. And then you're gonna notice the 30 laser lines once we get started. And right away you can see it adjusted the laser power based on this part being kind of dark. And you can just see how fast it's picking up this data, okay? So we're just moving around. Now, one of the things I'm doing, why do I have these 360 spheres on the table? is that allows me to get around this part. Okay, let's get the rest of the front of it, okay? And then I'm gonna use those targets to travel around to the back side and then scan up on the back because thin walled parts are very hard to like just drop on the table, scan one side, flip it over and scan the other without a way to align the data sets. So using this method lets me get 90% of the part in a single setup, okay? So you can see how I've done that. I'm just using those targets on this table to move around. And look at how fast, let's zoom in a little bit. Look at how fast we've been able to scan this part. Now, we still have our single line mode, just like we've always had in the, uh, in the Black Series scanners, in the Elite models. That's still here. What is the single line mode, if you don't know? That'll get about 25% more data down in holes and crevices and slots and areas like that. So most of the time you're gonna do most of the scanning without it, and then you can go in and fill in some of those areas you might need in that single line mode, okay? So these 30 laser lines are incredible just how fast you know, we can scan this part. Let's go ahead and stop and take a look. At any time we can stop, we can zoom in, zoom out, but you can see already we have a good majority of this part scanned. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below if you want to download the STL file uh, of this part and look at the quality of it. We'll put that there for you to take a look at. Um, but basically, we use the new clipping plane here, our new 360 targets, the new 30 laser lines, and the auto shutter mode uh, on this part. So it's just gotten faster. Uh, it's just gotten easier with some of these new accessories here with the new 
HandyScan Black Plus Elite. Okay, so now we're gonna do two things. We're gonna scan in the larger volume mode and we're gonna use a scale bar from the AccuPlus kit. Now, you don't necessarily have to have the scale bar, I'll explain that here in a minute, but I figured we would just do both at the same time. So, the, as we talked about, the AccuPlus kit helps reduce that stacking error as you move along. Now, some people don't, you know, the, the accuracy of the scanner uh, all by itself is fine, you don't need it. But for other people, maybe doing more metrology versus reverse engineering and trying to do larger stuff with this new scanner, they may want those scale bars. So I've got one here horizontally. Um, you could also put one vertically just for this. I'll just use one um, right here by our part. I've got our 360 targets just randomly placed, but you can see they're much farther apart than we would normally have in the standard mode. Because again, we're going to run in the far mode so I can double up uh, or increase my uh, spacing. So they're magnetic, so they're great for this car hood. Um, they stick right to it. And we've just got them randomly placed, okay? Now, so what we're going to do different this time is we're going to tell it we're in scale bar mode and we're going to uh, pre-scan not only the targets but the scale bar. So you'll see there's a QR code on that scale bar. It starts to read it and we're going to start moving around. Now you saw that it was red and it turned green. That's now telling us we have enough measurements on that scale bar um, that you know it's, it's good to go. And you're going to see a lot of the targets going from red to green, kind of like uh, in the last setup we did, but obviously we're in the far mode. And we just want to move around just like we talked about and pick up these targets from lots of different angles. That's going to give us a good volumetric accuracy. And the more of this we acquire ahead of time, the better, because it can then optimize that volume before we start scanning. Okay? So it's very fast. Okay? We'll move around once we feel, and we're never going to get all of them. You know, a lot of the targets on these 360s that are down low on the sides, you're just not going to get enough readings on. But the ones that are more kind of straight at us, perpendicular to us, are really the ones we're after. And of course, you don't have to use the 360 targets, you can use normal targets. So once we're done, we're gonna stop. Now, this gives us a list of all of those targets, and if we want, we could actually delete some of them if we just feel we just can't get some good readings on it and we're trying to get the best accuracy we can, we can actually kick out some of those um, targets. But in, in our case, we're fine with them. And what it's going to do is it's gonna now optimize that volume. So it's going through and you know, looking at all of them and trying to tighten up this volume, this target volume here uh, as accurately as possible for us. And again, that's how we can achieve that very good accuracy over distance with these new systems. Now, once we're done, we can take the scale bar out of the way. We don't need it here anymore. Um, I'm just gonna leave it here. And now we're ready to scan. So now we go uh, to the scanning process like we normally do. I'm gonna start over here and we'll come up and start scanning, okay? So we'll start out here, and I'm just gonna, you can see how big of an area we can get in this new far mode, okay? Let's move over, and of course we have the yellow turning to teal. That's been in the software for a while. That shows you based on your current resolution. Let's zoom in a little bit here so you can see this a little better. That shows you based on your current resolution if you have enough data. So you just want to go along and make sure all of that yellow turns to teal so that you get good coverage on your part. Okay? But there we go. So basically, we have scanned that whole hood. Okay? Let's take a look at it. Okay. Now, I'm, certainly there's some you know, spots we'll go back and fill in a little bit, uh, but you can see that. Look at how fast that is. So using our scale bar is going to make it more accurate. And again, you don't have to use the scale bar in the far mode, but it will make it more accurate. And look at how fast we were able to capture all of that data. Now, I'll put a link in the description below. You can download. We'll scan this entire uh, hood and uh, put it in the, the description below if you want to download it and take a look at it. But that's running the new handy scan. Uh, Black Plus Elite in the far mode, and in this case, the scale bar with the AccuPlus kit. 
Okay, I just wanted to show the scan data here real quick. This is the file that you can download. Uh, so you can see we've scanned the front and the back of it. And one thing to note is even though we use those new 360 targets, the software will automatically fill in those targets, just like normal targets. It also does it for the 360 targets. So you can see here, file looks really good, really high quality data, both the front and back. And you can tell uh, that, you know, you can't tell really where those targets were. So this is the file you can download in the description below, uh, both scanning it in the standard mode and the new FAR mode. Okay, so this wraps up the video on the new HandyScan Black Plus Elite 3D Scanner. Hopefully you found it informative. Hopefully you like some of the new features of this scanner. And if you want to learn more, if you have questions, if you want to set up an in-person or virtual demo or a benchmark, you can reach us at 877-845-2700 or send us an email at info at ems3d.com.